Heidi Ho, neighbors. <laughs> Everybody just got really confused. Hello, my lovelies. Um, barefaced once again. Uh, we are doing makeup tomorrow. Um, I really wanted to today, but uh, my husband's four-day-long weekend of hurry, hurry, get the house finished ended today. Finished. Ended today. So uh, I was trying to help him. I spent a lot of time pulling nails out of old siding today uh, so that it would stack nicer in our bag. One of those dumpster bag things. Yeah, any hoodles. So I did that and I got to play with a chisel today. Um, I got some French doors that I've wanted since we moved into this house 16 years ago. Um, had a window in my kitchen. Now there are French doors where that window was. Um, but we did the doorknobs, the hardware, the strike plates, etc. today. And he let me install them. Of course, you know, when they cut the hole for the doors, it doesn't fit the plates. It is neither large enough around, nor is it deep enough. So I had to take a hammer and chisel and chisel a proper place. And then I put everything in and I even got to play with the drill. Um, so I feel very accomplished today because now I know that I can install door hardware beautifully. I already knew how to do hinges. I did that um, when I redid my cabinets. Um, <laughs> I know that seems really stupid, but uh, I really enjoyed the chisel. <laughs> So perhaps I will get me some wood and play with it. Um, I don't know. Maybe. I already told him I want my own set of chisels. <laughs> I already have my own hammer. Uh, so any hoodles. Uh, yeah, so needless to say, I was very, very busy today. So um, so we're just going to have a chat one. And there's, I just, it was just sunscreen on my face today because I don't need to be beautiful sitting in the yard pulling nails. You know, I don't know how that goes. Um Game of Thrones is back. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, the first episode didn't give us a whole lot in the hair department. Um, some of you will mention Daenerys' hair. You should know. Shannon and Siobhan already covered it. Um, both turned out beautiful. I have nothing more to add. <laughs> I can't improve upon. So, you guys know to look for uh, s'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. So, she does the play on words, um, you know, because of all the braids, you guys get it. I've talked about Miss Shannon. Um, I'm pretty sure she's got more subscribers than me now. I know she does. Um, and then uh, Siobhan, La Dolly Vita, three, three, three. Um, yes, she also has Daenerys. So there you go. Uh, they already covered Daenerys. Um, my shorter hair girls, if you would like to do Arya's, which we haven't seen yet, but they were some of the, the preview. Like, I based one of mine on just a frontal shot. Uh, Shannon figured that out, too, so you might want to go look at that. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I'm not going to do Danny's hair. Been done. Um, I'm probably actually going to do baby Cersei's hair. The God, they cast a fabulous little actress to play uh, Cersei Lannister as a young girl. She had Lena Headey's every mannerism down. It was awesome. Um, really, really simple hairstyle and we're probably going to do that. Let's see, I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow. Sleeping is braided. Tomorrow is t Wednesday. We will have Game of Thrones hair on Wednesday. Um, I'm going to do baby Cersei. You might ask, well, why didn't you do Cersei's super fancy hair? I already did it. That is the same hairstyle that she wore when Sansa and Tyrion got married. And I already have that hairstyle up. It's already been done. I'm not going to just redo it. So, yeah, that'll be under the Game of Thrones hairstyles, which is its own playlist on my channel if you need to find it. Um, but, yeah, I already did that hair. <sighs> um, so, yeah, so we're probably going to do baby Cersei hair. Nice and simple. Piece of cake. Couldn't see the back of Sansa's head. I know something's going on. I am suspecting that it is uh, Catelyn Tully's normal uh, hairstyle that she always used to wear, you know, back before everything went terribly wrong for the Starks. Um, I think that's probably what she's wearing, but um, I don't know. We couldn't see the back of her head because apparently the director of photography doesn't care about 
us people on the internet trying to recreate these hairstyles. Um, any noodles though, glad the show's back. Afraid for this season because they are diverging from the books hugely. Um, so I have no idea what's going on at all. I'm sure George isn't really sure what's happening by this point. Um, it's kind of exciting because now I'm just like all the folks that haven't read the books and are like, uh, there's still a few storylines that I know where they're supposed to be going, but there's a whole lot that has changed. So, yay, we all get to find out what's happening together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it does look like Melisandre might have changed up her hair slightly, so I'm hoping in a future episode I'll get a better look, and if there's nothing else, then I'll probably try another Melisandre hairstyle, which I like. Also looking forward to the Sand Snakes making an appearance this season, so hopefully one of them will have something interesting going on. Or more. Oh, that would be wonderful. Um, any hoodles, yay, uh, so we can look forward to games... Game of Thrones hair this week, Wednesday. Wednesday we shall have it. Um, I'm also working on another interesting hairstyle. Saw a new technique. Somebody had a video. I posted it to my Facebook. I tried it out today. I was a little askew. It went a little crooked on me, but that's okay. It was the very first time I tried it. Um, and I already know a couple of things I can finagle to, to make it a little more what I want. I also have an idea that I'm going to try. So we might get a twofer out of that, as a matter of fact, because um, I think I have figured out a way to make it look slightly different, but employ the same technique. So that might be next week. Um, or maybe this weekend. Who knows? Uh, whenever I feel like doing it again. Um, Game of Thrones, new hairstyle. Oh, and the final thing for today, I have had quite a few of you write me in and talk about you've been getting headaches or scalp aches. Um, and you think your hair has gotten too heavy, or you just want to know what you should do. So, today's hairstyle is a Nautilus. It's just a Nautilus. Now, if you find that a portion of your scalp feels tender, ask yourself, have I been wearing the same hairstyle for a few days in a row? Because I do this sometimes. I'm just, I'm not, I'm concentrating on doing stuff around the house, or I have things to do. And I'm not leaving the house, so it just goes up in a Nautilus because it's so fast and easy. Um, and I'll have four days in a row that I've put a Nautilus in my hair because I didn't feel like messing with it. And then my scalp starts to hurt because I have the same bun in the same place on my head all day for days on end. You got to move your bun around. So um, you all know how to do a Nautilus. So we have that. I'm going to show you another quick one that will change the position of your bun. I have shown this before, but I've never done an actual tutorial on it because it's not my bun. It's Spider Mom's bun. But I'm going to show it to you just so you see, you know. So this is my Nautilus. We'll throw it up real quick so you can see. Um, Nautilus is so fast. Um, right hand under. And then you just wrap around the base. And then you pull your hair around. And you have a Nautilus bun. You take your stick. You put your stick in. Ta -da. One of my lovelies made me this stick, BT Dubs. Isn't it gorgeous? Hand card. So, that's a Nautilus. And if you've been wearing your hair in the same hairstyle for a few days, your scalp might hurt. Um, I would recommend if you want, just French braid it or put it in some Pocahontas braids or just straight up English braid it, some such. But if you want it up and don't want to do the braid, um, let's see, come on light, go up so you can see the top of my head, uh, Spider Mom's bun. So we're just twisting, twisting. I switch to this one a lot because I do this one up on top of my head in a different position so it puts stress on a different part of my scalp so it doesn't hurt as much. So as you can see, I get this twist nice and tight. I take two fingers right here, wrap twice. We have two coils. We're going to go around underneath that first coil and then we're just going to wrap around the base. Now, when I do this bun on my hair, it's not gorgeous. 
most of you guys are probably only going to have to wrap around once, maybe twice. I've got like three and a half. <laughs> if I had a full four, it would probably be better. So I'm going to pull this loop over, take your stick. This one requires a big one. Just pop it down that loop and you're going to scoop it up under the whole center section. You see coming out over here, pull this loop down flat and then run the stick through the opposite loop. Ta-da! I do have a little tiny bit sticking out. That's not too bad. Um, but as you can see, like I said, it's not the most beautiful bun, but all of the stress is up higher on my scalp. So it changes where I'm wearing my hair. It's still all up. It's still a fast bun. It's still only one stick. Just moving it will save you a lot of headache. I think that's my opinion. Switch your hairstyles around, ladies. Um, that's just... Save your scalp. I don't want anybody to hurt out there. Okay, that's all for today. Oh, earrings. I almost forgot the earrings. I made these. They're just moonstones and um, glass beads. Here you go. Moonstones and glass beads. You can see them a little better up there. Stop shaking. Yes. They're straight up and down. Nothing fancy. The only fancy thing is the clasp. I like these. They're the hook with the little... When you have some that are like this, sometimes they'll work their way back out of your ears, and these are nice because they won't come off. So, yay! So that's one of the first pair I made, actually, I believe. But uh, those are nice and easy. They're just run on a pin and a couple of jump hooks. Yay! <laughs> so, uh, any hoodles, we are doing good. Different hairstyle, different earrings, no makeup, oh, so sad. Um, I'm going to go and slather my face in coconut oil. Probably my hair, too. Because I think I'm going to go ahead and wash it um, tomorrow morning. So, uh, any hoodles, I will see you then. Won't I? We're doing makeup tomorrow because i got to put something on my face. I'm tired of looking at my bare skin. Okay. <laughs> Until tomorrow. Everybody have a lovely evening, night. It's nighttime now. So, um, yes, I'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.